Hello, this is the Daily Forex Report for July 11th. We're going to take a look at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair first. This particular pair closed up on Friday, did gap a little bit at the open. Uh, we are looking for it, uh, or we have seen it actually retraced. We, that's what we look for fairly quick. Overall, this pair is moving sideways with a bias that is sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 89.14, possibly as low as 87.76. Look for some resistance around 89.00 and look for some support around 88.00. Now the Euro USD pair, this particular pair closed lower on Friday, did break previous sessions high uh, as well as the low, did close lower. Overall this pair is still having, uh, still moving to the upside with a bias that way. Look for it to potentially go as high as 127.90, possibly as low as 125.22. Look for some resistance around 127.25 and look for some support around 126.00. Now the pound US dollar pair, this particular pair closed down on Friday. Overall still moving higher, hasn't broken through uh, our trend line, getting pretty close though. We are looking for this pair to come on around and move higher during this next week. Uh, if we see it break below our trend line, uh, then we are definitely looking for it to move lower. Uh, overall, look for this pair to move potentially as high as 152.83, possibly as low as 149.48. Look for some resistance around 152.50, and look for some support around 150.25. Now, the U.S. Swiss, this particular pair closed higher on Friday, still moving to the downside, still looking for it to move lower. If we do get a reversal, look for it to potentially go as high as 1. 1.0654, possibly as low as 1.0429. Look for some resistance around 1.0600 and look for some support around 1.0475. Now, we really don't have any news announcements, uh, no significant news announcements for tomorrow. Do you have a couple of things I'm looking at? If you take a look at the pound US dollar pair, we have a swing trade opportunity that's been created. We also have the break of this trend line that I've been talking about. Uh, if we get a break of these two, we could definitely see this pair moving uh, to the downside, basically a close below it. Uh, I am looking for it to move on down to around this level. Uh, if you need a quick scalp, this would be the area that you'd want to look for. Basically looking to sell short right here around the 150.34 level either taking a profit, a quick profit at 20 pips uh, down or letting it run down about 90 pips. So uh, if we get a break from this trend that has been occurring to the upside, that's what uh, the scenario will look like. Now, if you uh, take a look at the U.S. Swiss, this particular pair has a similar setup, except going in the opposite direction. We have a swing trade setup. It pretty much gapped right to the line. Uh, and has moved down from there, which is kind of to be expected. However, if we get a reversal, look for it to move up to this point. Uh, the next area of resistance that we could look for would be here. Let's take a look at what that actually looks like. Basically going off of the, the open, which is also the high, we got 90 pips there and then a potential uh, 175. So if we get a reversal, uh, we could see it move very strong to the upside uh, and look for a potential exit here or potentially right here. So we'll just have to see if, if either one of these reversals plays out. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.